All right, good afternoon. I uh, hope everybody had a nice weekend. Um, no injuries to report uh, today. We'll get that on Wednesday. Uh, but certainly like where our football team is uh, relative to their health uh, right now. Uh, so the bye week focus uh, for us really is to, uh, to work on improvement of the individual, um, you know, first and foremost, because that's where the fundamentals of the game are. And if we, we believe that we improve the individual, we're going to improve each each unit. But uh, certainly we look at positions as well, uh, where we're strong, where we need to improve. And then obviously the units, you know, we look at uh, from everything to, you know, run offense, run defense, pass offense, pass defense, all the way through situations, uh, dissect those things and, and certainly want to uh, need to improve on several items. And uh, we want to be strong where we're strong and obviously improve the things that we need to, to improve on going forward um, in these next five games. And obviously this, this first game coming up against Detroit. Um, you know, my old coach used to say, you get what you emphasize. And uh, we'll emphasize those things, like I said, in meetings and drills and in practice. And we'll implement those things in practice as well. Um, good to be back home uh, versus Detroit. Um, coming off a divisional victory. I was certainly excited about that in front of our home fans. It's been a while since we've been back there and uh, looking forward to, uh, to this Sunday. Um, certainly like where our team is mentally and physically, like I said, right now coming off the bye week and uh, feel good about where the football team is. Uh, with that, I'll open up to questions. As you continue to look to you know, the, the long term of what you want out of this, what does these, these last five games of the regular season kind of represent for opportunity and building this thing forward as you'd like? Yeah, it's really about finishing, right? You know, you talk about finishing, you know, and, and it starts with the first game. You got to really finish. And, you know, I was proud of the way the guys finished last game. And again, that's that's in the past. And now we got to look forward. And uh, to me, that's what it's about. You know, the NFL is about finishing, you know, in the two minute, four minute process of the end of the half, end of the games. And uh, we certainly are looking uh, to improve on that. That's always been an emphasis, obviously, finishing, but actually doing it, what do you think that type of impact will have moving forward in terms of confidence and belief? Yeah, I think it's it's really good. You know, when you when you get that done, it's uh, you can feel the guy's energy out there, the, the optimism, uh, the enthusiasm, uh, the belief in themselves and the belief in each other. And that was the main message that I had, uh, you know, after the, the first game against Detroit was that, look, you know, believing in yourself is number one, then look to the right, look to the left, and believe in the guys next to you. And uh, then we had to do the tangible things in practice to work on those. And uh, again, it's all on the proof about doing. And uh, certainly to do it uh, the last time is, is obviously a big positive. When you talk about, uh, about where your team sits, as you look around the NFC North, it seems like these other teams have been making progress too. Uh, how to evaluate where you are in relation to not only the Lions, but Vikings, who you just saw, and the Packers, who had a pretty big win last time. Yeah, it seems like everybody's improving, right? And uh, that, that's, you know, it's, uh, you know, obviously the challenge for everybody in the division, you know, to play uh, well each week. And we always, you know, the NFL set up that way. They play divisional games at the end, and they set up that way on purpose. And uh, we're going to have to play good football down, uh, at the end. Matt, aside from it's, it's the next game and you guys want to win, do you think there'll be a little bit more emphasis from your players to beat Detroit this time, seeing as you guys did outplay them for about three quarters or so. Do they get a good angry from that? Yeah, you can feel a uh, motivation there and optimism and uh, certainly the focus uh, with our guys today. You could feel that and uh, the energy. You could feel that for sure out at the walkthrough. Uh, the guys are wired in and, and want to perform well this week. Matt, do you feel the weight of what's at stake over the rest of the season here for key people in the organization like you, Luke Getze, Justin, in a season where it hasn't gone like you wanted to, that you guys have a lot to prove to get to stay? Yeah, you know, the season didn't start off the way everybody wanted for sure, but uh, over the last eight weeks we've put some good things out there and uh, we're certainly excited about doing that this week. Um, you know, our focus is, as any time in the NFL, is where your feet are. You know, we got to be focused on this game and this game only uh, to put your best performance out there, and that's what we're doing this week. Is that pressure new to you at all, having been an assistant for Song and having been a very successful assistant? I, I don't know if there's been a lot of, you know, end-of-season stretches like this where you feel like you have a lot on the line individually. No, that's a good question. Uh, yeah, certainly you feel that. Uh, during the course of my 32 years, you feel it um, over the time. And you just got to uh, put your best foot forward, you know, and just keep working and grinding and and uh, keep executing, get the guys to focus and wire in, uh, you know, being positive, but also being real uh, with the players uh, so they can improve. And in the same way with your staff, you know, where we need to improve at and what we need to get better at. So um, that's no different this year than any other year.
And when, you, when, you look at the, when you look at the penalties overall, obviously there's some calls that you guys are not going to agree with and, and things like that, but overall the, the number's a lot higher than I'm sure you, you want. Did you see anything during the bye week? Uh, is there, are there any common threads or any things that you can kind of work on with the guys to try to bring that number down? Yeah, you know, you want to eliminate those, and uh, certainly there's there's many of them that you disagree with, of course, like that. that's always the case. Um, but, uh, you know, the penalties that were, you know, accepted against us, you know, obviously the things you want to control are the things that are, are pre-snap, you know, the false starts. And we've done a better job of that the last couple of weeks, and we've got to continue to do a better job of that. We've been emphasizing that for the last several weeks, and uh, we've got to continue to do a better job there. Um, so anytime you can eliminate those, you know, a lot of times the, the, the DPIs and the you know, incidental contact down the field, sometimes those are questionable, and, and you have to take those and just move to the next set of downs and execute again. So, um, but, yeah, those are the ones we want to talk about. Speaking of DPIs, you know, watching over the weekend, there were a lot of plays where it wasn't called. There were other plays where it should have been called. What is so hard about defending passing, especially on the deep throws? It's the, it's the timing. You know, uh, so you're, you know, a deep pass, obviously, it takes longer to get there, right? So it's the timing of the DB. He's got to have poise at the catch point. And, uh, you know, so that takes some discernment at the end. You know, so when the ball, you got to be able to judge the ball, where the player is running to and where that reception area is, and be able to time your jump, um, your punch to bust that triangle uh, that he's trying to create with the ball. And it's got to be, it's all about timing. And it's a lot of that's instincts, you know, and you can work on it as a coach. Um, but uh, some of the real good ones have it. They have the instincts of when to be able to time their jump and uh, when the ball meets the reception area. Matt, the last time against the Lions, your defense was like two different teams almost. I mean, uh, you, you turn over, I mean, you take aways, and then at the end it didn't work out. Uh, anything that you, you can do that will uh, make it different or, or get the, you know, the, the good side, uh, emphasize the good side? Is there anything, how, how, how do you plan on, you know, just – being better uh, uh, this time because uh, it was such a stark difference. Uh, yeah, all you can do is look at the tape, right? You look at the tape and then you look on the things that you did well and the looks that you gave and play off of those looks. I think that's a very important thing to do. And then the things you can improve on, you know, obviously the, the two minute, you know, was, it was, was something we needed to improve on you know, defensively. And then the four minute on offense. And, you know, we did that last week. Uh, we did a four minute, two minute operation. Um, it was better and that was improvement. And that's what you can uh, – all you can do is focus on your last performance and uh, and uh, certainly got things to improve on the last time we played these guys. I mean, sweat and, about... That Sweat and Edmonds are, will be, you know, two, two games back further, you know, more into, uh, you know, the, uh, playing uh, than they were. Uh, how much of an improvement do you think that – how much of an uh, area of improvement do you think that will be? Yeah, it, it'll be good, right? Tez is, you know, getting more and more comfortable, getting more and more pressures. You know, our pressure rate's been up. You know, since he's been in there and the last three games, it's been going up. So we want to continue to improve that. But it's not just the pressure, it's the coverage. You know, the coverage has to hold up, give those guys another tick to get home uh, to pressure the quarterback. So we like where that is right now. You know, and, uh, and Maine's going to continue to improve as he gets back just like Tez. Do you anticipate having, do you, do you anticipate having Tyreek available this week? Uh, it, it looks that way. Like, it, like once we get him out there in pads and get him moving around and changing direction, but uh, certainly like where he is for sure. And with Smith, he, he played pretty well in his absence. Yeah. Is there a world where both of them can contribute in the same game, you know, whether it's a rotation or something different? Yeah, we'll certainly look at that. You know, Smitty did play well, and we want to get our young guys, you know, more and more playing time. And if they're effective and can produce, uh, we'll, we certainly will play them. You guys know that. Matt, since, well, since, since you guys have got Montez, your blitz rate's down, your pressure rate's up, like you said, how has adding him maybe allowed you to call the defense how you envisioned initially when you guys put the roster together? Yeah, it allows you to play more coverage, you know, and then when you do pressure, uh, it certainly adds that effect to it. Um, so we certainly like where that is, uh, being able to have different coverages, different variations, I'll be able to mix those variations up, and I think that makes it harder for the quarterback. Fair. Thank you. <laughs> um, you you said in the past that, that you understand, because you've been around, the speculation about your job. Um, but Ryan Poles has been nothing but praising your, the work that you've done. That said, do you feel safe? Because Ryan Poles has been always stood up for you. Yeah, what you can focus on is leadership, right? And the first rule of leadership is leading yourself, right? So uh, come to work every day. Um, you know, put the plans together, offense, defense, special teams, lead the football team, um, help the leadership council lead the football team as well. Um, because, you know, true leadership comes from within. And uh, I, I think it's really what you focus on. And that's put your best foot forward every single day.